I think our team will bring uh, a lot of a lot of experience uh, that we've had uh, in our time pulling alerts. Um, we bring a lot of experience to the table, so um, a lot of weapon system knowledge. Um, we bring a good attitude and a, and a good will to learn. Great. Doing GSC helps us really understand our role in the nuclear triad and, and the bigger picture of things. Um, it also allows us to, to be able to understand how important it is that we are always on alert, ready to go, um, ready to key turn. Yeah, so um, on Monday we'll be taking a competition uh, ride, GSC ride, um, and we'll start status and uh, be presented. Um, usually starts off like a normal day and things just uh, start to escalate. Um, things will possibly catch on fire, uh, people uh, start doing some things out in the field that we have to be coordinating all the time between maintenance, between security forces. Um, it'll all be simulated. Uh, just bigger picture, getting things done, but it's, it's a lot of tedious work. Um, so if your attention to detail is not on, uh, you're going you're gonna to get behind, fall behind, and uh, you're going to have to play catch up real quick. Uh, can you tell me how the teams were selected? So the teams were se selected um, by testing. So what we did is uh, we, we put out to the entire operations group that GSC uh, is happening in these months and we are going to do uh, actual test taking and have people take these tests and then the results will get the group down into a, a smaller uh, group and then we'll give these people what we call pit rides. And so pit rides are an hour solo ride um, where you display your weapon system knowledge and expertise. So does... Uh... Um, I, I wanted to do this two years ago but I was too new. Um, so being able to do this as a commander at, at the end of my three years too because I'm going to Minot next week um, it, it's really kind of the cherry on top of the three years I've been able to have here and it's been it's been a hell of a three years and it's definitely wearing the the big red colors um, we just won the Phillips award for best missile squadron in global strike so a lot of pride coming out of our uh, our crew here Very cool. can you tell me why your team's gonna win I don't know if our I don't want to say our team's going to win um, but we are very confident in our abilities um, like I said, we have a lot of experience. Um, our crew coordination um, is exceptional. Uh, really what makes or breaks these, these rides, um, these styles of rides, is your crew communication. Um, so him being able to help me when I need help, vice versa, me being able to direct him to do things or even him telling me to do some things um, as a commander, it just, it, crew, crew, communication, crew communication is just, it's huge. And uh, without it, you're, you're not gonna get very far in these rides, at least down the right way in which you hopefully should be going. Broad sense. So it definitely, it definitely brings us together here. I, I, I can't say for the bigger picture, because we don't really interact with, uh, at least as the crews taking the ride, uh, maybe the instructors talk uh, missile wing to missile wing. But I would say for the crews at least here, us getting to know our counterparts in the 321st, 319th, the instructors uh, that have been um, associated with this global strike, getting to know them. We spend a lot of hours, we're, we're here late, when everyone else is sleeping, and so you, you build uh, you build some camaraderie bet between all of us, and, and yeah, it definitely increases our relationships to understand this mission and, and appreciate it. Okay. Attention to detail. Yeah, attention to detail is probably the number one thing um, when I would think about Global Strike Challenge that um, I lacked of or have learned the most into. Just really getting into the weeds of of uh, our regs. Uh, weapon system safety rules, just really getting into the weeds of the, of the, getting into the books really is what it is and finding that little piece of information that makes a huge difference. So attention to detail is, is number one. Cool. Okay. No, I, I'm happy to be here. Um, uh, this is a great opportunity and uh, hopefully Ryan and I do our best. We make the 320th proud and move on. Um, our team's going to bring a lot of uh, knowledge from uh, both me and Austin have been here at FE for, I've been here for a year and a half, he's been here for two years, three years. Uh, so just, we have a lot of time with the weapon system, a lot of uh, knowledge between us, and we're both really competent and have spent a majority of the time kind of being like leaders in the squadron in terms of weapon system. I think one of the big things that it shows is their commitment to 
uh, proficiency of the weapon system, making sure that we're all at the top of our game and really showing how great uh, the whole command as a whole can be, especially in terms of getting thrown in a lot of weird situations and kind of showing that we can handle those and excel in those type of situations. Uh, so the competition, at least from our side, is uh, you get selected and you train and then at the end of it you do an eval from people who come in from outside from Global Strike Command who come and give you a simulator ride, like an evaluation about could be anything that you should know or have learned and just seeing how you react to it and how you compare to the other three missile bases and the other squadrons in your own missile base. I think we're going to do pretty good. I feel like we have been training really hard, we've been studying, uh, we've learned uh, through all the mistakes that we have made through our training. I feel like we've taken those and really learned. Uh, kept our base of good communication and good uh, like just crew coordination and expanding our knowledge. I think for sure it kind of brings the whole command together like you know like I know some friends at other bases who are in my even in my Vandenberg class who are competing like in our uh, training that it's kind of like oh they're going through the same thing I am we're going to be seeing like the same ride, we get to kind of compete against each other, see how we're doing relative to them even past our training school. So I think that's really cool and especially I'm sure for like the security forces and maintenance, seeing how they compare to the other three wings is pretty cool and important. Uh, so what I think I can learn from Global Strike Challenge is kind of how I compare in the rest, like through the rest of the three wings, um, kind of I think you also kind of learn how important the mission is and how time sensitive it could be if you ran into a lot of situations and knowing that you can personally be successful in those scenarios and the fact that you're doing Global Strike, global strike Challenge, uh, you're going to be somebody that the rest of your squadron looks up to uh, for guidance in a lot of situations just because you know they, they, they know that you went through this. Uh, so I just, I guess just learning how to, I guess just take, also taking this knowledge back to uh, the squadron and helping everybody else out. Yeah, I think it's really cool to see what the other units do in their areas of expertise because, um, you know, we're in here, we're training and focusing on our little corner of the mission and getting to see what security forces does, what maintenance does, what the helo ops do. It's, it's really cool to see how all the parts play together. Um, so we will show up, we'll get an in-brief and it'll kind of set the stage, I guess, um, what to expect once we actually step into the trainer. Um, we'll have our evaluation, and after that, we'll go through a debrief and talk through the things we think did, we did well, the things that maybe we could have done better, better, and kind of, I guess, give our explanation for why we did some of the things the way that we did. And after that, <laughs> we'll find out how well we did compared to the other squadrons. Yeah, the selection process, um, there's a written test that everyone took individually. Everyone took the same exact test. Um, they graded it to see how well you did, and then you were selected to do a trainer ride in these MPTs uh, by yourself, and just to kind of gauge your individual knowledge, and then based on your performance in the test and the ride, they selected a commander and a deputy from each squadron, and then a commander and a deputy backup. I think it does. Um, it's really cool to know competitors at other wings and other squadrons even um, at the same base that maybe you wouldn't have met otherwise and the camaraderie between yes we're all competing against each other but we're still in here we're taking the same rides and we're helping each other grow and get better at our jobs is really fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, between my deputy and I, we've been having a lot of fun and that's something we want to continue even through Monday when, you know, situations get stressful, maintaining 
calm, composed attitudes, having fun with it, and then also communicating between each other is really, really important. I think trust as well, knowing that I trust her to do what she's doing well and she trusts me to do the same so we don't have to like check each other's work. We have that mutual trust and respect to know that we each know what we're doing and we're going to do our job well. It does. I'm really, really excited to be able to represent my squadron in this challenge and like you said, it's throughout all of the squadrons at all of the wings, so getting the chance to represent my squadron and hopefully make them proud is really exciting. I'm really happy that I have the opportunity. Okay. Um, one of the things I think is really cool about Global Strike Challenge is while we're in here and we're seeing these different scenarios that you never really see when you're out on alert in the field and we're able to see how we can improve procedures, we're able to see how we can improve our technical orders and make them better and more fit for the actual operation.